Hello everybody, my name is William Hendrickson. I've been asked to give you guys a walkthrough on BizMap. So let's get started. First off, I want to show you guys some direct correlations that are very important here. So your R&D investment right here, that directly correlates to your unit cost in sections of 50,000. So it's going to go down to seven five six thousand and then five thousand and then it's capped so at that point we will stop doing research and development due to not wanting to hemorrhage money um your unit price directly correlates to how many new customer orders you have and how much you have to put into your advertising to continue to get new customers also, another thing I want to point out is your inventory is three quarters slow. You have your production in transit, processed, then it finally arrives. So you want to keep that as high as you possibly can go. So let's get going here. Okay, so I'm going to start with my typical maxed out there. I'm going to hire two employees because mathematically I found it to be the best solution. Oops. Okay, we're going to invest the max amount in R&D, which is sadly only 50000 Then we are going to put 50000 in advertising as well. Don't be afraid to have backlog. That's another thing I want to stress. People do it to us all the time in business. Why not do it back? Because it's a good business model. By having backlog, that means in times where people aren't as willing to spend money, you're still making money off the orders that you already have. So we're going to hire an additional person this time. And then we keep our unit price the same, our R&D investment the same, our advertising the same. Effectively, deciding to do nothing was our best decision besides hiring a new employee and maxing out our units. As you can see here, there's a nice little pop-up saying that we now only pay 7500 for each unit. It means we're making more money off of our individual units because of the price. Oops. Okay. So we are in quarter three. We're going to hire another individual. As you can see, our operating profits are really low, which is why I'm skirting hiring a lot of people right now. But I don't want us to go bankrupt. And if you go bankrupt in this game, it instantly ends. So we have another little pop-up here. We're now down to 6000 per unit. That's a nice little bonus. Okay, we're going to, we're going to make our max amount of units. As you can see, we've got a nice little backlog growing, but we're going to put out more inventory this time than we have demand, which creates a small problem. But we're going to hire nine more people, and we'll solve this small problem by kicking this up. Let's kick it up to 500,000. So now... Our price per unit to us has gone down to 5000 Like I said earlier, that is the max. So there's no point in investing any more in research and development. So we're just going to cut that. We can now make 340 units. And let's hire nine more employees. And we're going to raise this up again to 90000 see that where that gets us okay so our operating profits are low again but this is quarter six so we've still got time to fix anything that we have to worry about our max units is 520 right now and we're gonna hire nine more people I know it sounds weird when we're not making money to continually hire people but the reason we're not making money is because of our inventory right now we don't have the product everybody wants and we're paying to have all these customers want it 
Now, what this is going to do is towards the end of the game, we're actually going to hit the roof effectively or go through the roof. Uh, we'll make our max units, hire nine more people, and hit the button. Max units. Nine more people. And we'll hit it again. Now, as you can see, we're starting to come back up. And that's simply because our supply is meeting our demand finally. Well, getting close to it at least. Close enough that we're making a significant amount of money here in a couple of minutes. So this is going to be the last group of employees that I'm going to hire. By the way, nine is the maximum amount of employees, if you've been wondering why I've been hiring groups of nine. Okay, so now we can make 1,240 units. We're no longer investing in R&D. We're not hiring any more employees, which each have a $50,000 salary. So we're cutting that cost. Well, we're not adding to that cost. As you can see, our gross profit right now is at 10 million. Um, our revenue right now is only 13, but that'll change here in a minute. And our cash on hand's at 12 million. So hit the button. Look at that. Our revenue just skyrocketed from 13 to 17 because our inventory is finally catching up. And finally our grand total score is our revenue is at 20 million dollars our gross profit is 15 million we have grand total of 32 million eight hundred and eighty five thousand eight hundred dollars cash in hand um like i said investing in your individual uh price by r d in the beginning has lowered our average cost per unit down to six thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars per unit which is nice because we're charging an average of nineteen thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars per unit what that does for us is we can automatically count for thirteen thousand dollars of profit on every single unit um, as we can see from this graph here, our, our cash on hand just keeps skyrocketing. Um, right here in, in quarter six, where I told you the big turnaround would be, we've got a nice little shoot up here. Um, yeah, this is pretty much how I played this game. Um, hope you enjoyed my video. Like I said, though, we did have a few rocky times in um, quarter two and quarter six. But as you can see, we just shot straight up from there even on a nice little curve on their cash in hand. Now, in real life, I honestly would say to keep in investing in your uh, advertising and keep investing, obviously, in hiring more people because you just want to keep going up. I stopped simply because I know that there's only um, the 12 quarters in this game and it maximizes maximize the amount of profit I can make. Honestly, though, if this was a real-life situation, I would suggest continuing on. Thank you for watching this video.